I know most blades of grass by their first name. I mean, th there isn't a place that I haven't been with the golf ball at some point in time in the, in the boonies. Bob Pearson turns 70 next year and he's still breaking par. He's won the club championship before and he's nailed two hole in ones. I can't hit any better than that. And like any avid golfer, his goals are to score low. I don't like an 80, and I don't like anything above an 80, so I'm 79 or less is what I'm striving for. He's got a lot of my money in a secret Swiss bank account that the IRS is not familiar with. A clean ball is a happy ball. He's been retired from Minnesota Power since he was 56, and that allows him to golf, get this, seven days a week at a place that ranks only second in his big heart. And the golf course in Inger Park, next to my family, are the most important things to me. Next to my family, my wife and my kids, I got 13 grandkids. I got a swimming pool in the backyard and I got 13 grandkids that are in my swimming pool. Bob married his high school sweetheart, Carol Ray, and they recently celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. He plans on golf until he's 85 or even 90. And after that, he gave his wife some direction on where he wants to be laid to rest. My wife has been instructed to put my ashes here when I die. Anywhere. I told her anywhere she wants to. We have kids and adults of all ages here tonight, and they're piling in by the minute here. Um, we're at the Midnight Magic Party at Barnes & Noble, and uh, they're just so excited to read this next book. Now, uh, as you can see behind me, we have some people dressed in full wizard costume. Others are just dressed like muggles, but either way, everyone is more than ready to get their hands on a copy. Witchcraft and wizardry, muggles and magic. Ten years ago, Harry Potter took the world by surprise. It definitely is a phenomena that it has been a pleasure to be a part of, and really there is nothing to compare it to. And on Friday at midnight, all those anxious readers will finally get to learn what happens to their favorite hero. I'm going to read it all. Cool thing. From midnight to 4 o'clock. All the excitement is about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Some were waiting by doors of Barnes & Noble at 6 o'clock Friday morning to get a numbered wristband. It's the store's way of making a little order out of chaos. At 11.30 p.m., people will line up in order of their wristbands to pick up their book. Kids will be all dressed up, um, they're just, and they're just running around with tons of energy. Um, and then, honestly, when it hits midnight and people are getting their books, it's just total mayhem. And it's just incredible. It's awesome. It's really cool to see. So. When the last Harry Potter book came out in 2005, more than 900 people showed up at a party at this Barnes & Noble so they could get their hands on a copy. With this next book being the last of the series, they're expecting even more. So that when the boxes are opened at the stroke of midnight, everyone's going to take their copy and disappear. <laughs> And I think for kids it's very empowering, especially to identify with a character that's positive, that's uh, able to stand up. I mean, he's just ordinary, really, in so many ways. Everything about the book is a secret. There are large warnings on boxes of books. But the mystery just leaves more room for speculation. It's been fun talking, plotting evil things, what's going to happen in the book. I don't know. Hopefully everybody lives. Rumor has it two characters will die, but the magic of Harry Potter, that will never go away.